I am going to be completely honest. I started recording this video and writing this script with the full intentions of this being a why Minecraft is bad now type video. However, as I played more, it's become more of a Minecraft revisited type video. Revisiting this beloved game in solo survival, I did have a survival world shared with my girlfriend recently until, um, well, we got bored and made it creative. But I wanted to see what it was like playing Minecraft completely alone. I want to stress, it has been years since I last truly invested myself into solo Minecraft. And I mean, like, we're talking like Xbox 360 days. Like, I remember discussing with my cousin about slime blocks before they were added. That's how long ago it was that I last got truly invested in this game. So, a whole heap of stuff that I don't even know what it is, is in the game now. Anyways, enough dilly-dally. I started a new solo survival world and input a suitable seed and created the world. I'm playing on bedrock by the way because you know it's actually optimized unlike Java. Ugh. Anyways, I loaded into the world and took a look at my surroundings, tried to sort out some of my settings and was immediately blown up by a creeper. Then I did the Minecraft thing, of course, and hit a tree. Now, missing health and hunger, thanks game, I saw a nice little place on the beach that would be a perfect place for a starter home. I collected some stone, made some simple tools before making the classic oak wooden hut. Not because I wanted to, but rather because that's all I had. Not enough wool for a bed, not enough food for mine for the night, so I spent the first night hunting for that damn third sheep I needed for a bed. Eventually, I got it and slept through the night. Smelting some sand in the morning for some home improvements that I wanted to carry out. Then I set out mining and ended up discovering this cool new cave biome that I hadn't come across before. I have no idea how long they've been in the game, but I do know it was my first time discovering it and it's really nice, I like it. It adds nice variation to the caves and to the mining rather than just new stone variants. Jesus Christ, the new stone variants were added like five billion years ago. I'm so old. I said about exploring this cave, finding a fair few bits of iron along the way and wouldn't you know, some diamonds. I knew I needed to collect them, but I didn't want to lose them. So I crafted an iron pickaxe right out the bat and used my remaining wood to make charcoal, which I would use to smelt the iron and make armor for my journey out so I wasn't killed, so I didn't lose these goodies. I collected all four and began to head back up to the surface, feeling accomplished and achieved for myself. And it was at this point that I felt I had uh, enough good loot for a while that I should start setting about gathering some wood to improve my home, as well as some food along the way because it was in very short supply. And there is my hut, and where I stopped playing for that day. And, to my surprise, I felt that I kept wanting to come back and keep on playing this world. A feeling that I haven't had when playing Minecraft by myself for a long time. I jumped back into my world a few days later and made myself a diamond pickaxe because at some point I knew I was going to need it. 
as well as a bucket and a shield, something that wasn't even in the game the last time I tried to play it properly. So there you go. <laughs> At this point, food was a very scarce resource, so I wanted to make both a very simple animal farm and a very simple crop farm, which turned out very ugly, but oh well. At some point, I plan on making something proper with it and making it look a bit nicer. <coughs> Holy moly, bro. I managed to lead a few sheep back to my farm, which would eventually be used for meat. Although, they're so stupid they couldn't get in the gate and they let out my chicken. So I killed it. At this point in time, I felt like I just needed to explore my world a little, pick a direction and just go, hoping ideally to find a village or at least some form of interesting items or structures. And I walked for miles. I found nothing of note. I did find a jungle where I stole some melons and a big cave, but that was it. The cave was kind enough to spawn a load of coal in for me, which was very good as I had literally nothing for torches or furnaces at this point. Then I walked the entire way home, but I did get an enderman and an enderpearl on my way back. Meow, says the cat, in approval of my enderpearl. This will be useful come the end. After what felt like an eternity, I found my way home. The following morning, I erected a huge tower by the side of my base for two reasons. Reason number one, to make it easier to spot at a distance, and number two, so I could momentarily destroy my frame rate by turning my render distance all the way up to 76 chunks, fucking hell, to see if I could see any interesting things rather than just walking in a direction and hoping. And literally nothing of note except an ocean monument that I found very close to my base that I am no way equipped for dealing with. Now, finally armed with torches, I made my way back down to the cave and found some more diamonds, which I stored away because I wanted to use them when I'm preparing to fight the Ender Dragon in the future. Also, my tower actually came in useful when finding my base here, so while incredibly ugly, it's not completely useless made a nice little path of deep slate over to my farm, and decided this was the perfect time to grab some obsidian. After 800 million years, I had all 10 pieces that I needed to make the nether portal and head to the nether. <laughs>